In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a small merchant ship called an East Indiaman in Minecraft. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys, if you want more videos like this one, I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to a full playlist that you guys can check out. Anyway, let's get into building. All right, so here is the build out of water, guys. And we're gonna be spending the next hour or so building this one up. Uh, so I'm, of course, doing it on the flat world, but uh, I'll show you guys where to put the water layer in a second. Um, so it, for this one, it is 33 blocks long, 18 blocks wide, and it's 28 blocks high. You might be thinking, but Daka, how is it 18 blocks wide? Well, it's because uh, for my one, it sticks over by one, just on one of the sides, that or that side. That side it does. Um, so that's what's going on. If you guys want to make a box, you can make a box. Totally up to you guys. We're going to be starting from the back anyway, so you can then figure out how, uh, where, where you want to plank, plonk this one in, okay? Um, in terms of the water, we're going to be three blocks under the water. That means that we're going to be right here. So three blocks. So you get a block next to it. Then we get another one. Then we get another one. I should have done those with a different color, but there we go. Have that right there. That's what we're going to be doing. Two and three down to there. This is your layer number one, nice and simple like that. Okay, in terms of the materials that you guys are gonna need, smooth quartz slab, smooth quartz stair, a smooth quartz block, spruce planks block. We're also gonna need to grab something that I forgot about, which is a <laughs> spruce stair. Gonna need one of those as well. Um, and also a jungle fence. That'll get us started with this build. And of course, we're gonna have many more materials as we go up. And for layer number one, what we're going to do, we're going to find the middle or middle-ish of this build. So I'm going to go every other second one. If you guys are just building this one as is in the ocean, you don't need to even worry about this. So for me, that is where the middle is. And what we're going to do from here is from the rightmost one. It's really difficult to explain. The rightmost one, if you're doing it exactly the same way I am, um, then you're going to leave a two block gap. And then you're going to place down a spruce planks block, okay? And then I'm going to put another spruce plank block on top. Then we're going to have a spruce stair. Then we're going to have two jungle fences from that. You know, get rid of these extra bits here. We don't need them anymore. Get rid of those. Um, and then we can get rid of those three blocks, which I always like doing that nice and early. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have with our smooth quartz block, four blocks coming forward. So one, two, three, and four. We're going to have two slabs on the side of the last two blocks. Then what we're going to do is, I believe we've got seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're going to leave two of those blocks. Then three in the middle are going to have slabs on them like that. At the front, we're just going to add one slab onto the front of that block. Then behind this, we're going to go one, two, and three. So you cover up the gap that's in that slab there and get three blocks. Then we have a slab on the front. Around to the back, same thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Slab on the front there. And three slabs in the middle part of that. So leave those two blocks, leave those two blocks, get the three free slabs there. And then we can fill this up with our smooth quartz, just like that, all right? And guys, that's it for layer number one. And now for layer number two, what you can do is you can place a block directly on top of the last layer like that. Then we can have a upside down smooth quartz stair coming forwards from that one. We're going to add another block onto the back as well. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a slab on the side of that one. Then two blocks behind this, one and two. Then we're going to have a slab again. Now we're going to have seven blocks. One, two, whoops, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. On the back of that one, we're going to have a slab. Now what we're going to do on the inside of this, we're going to have a lower slab. And this will make a lot more sense. I'll show you guys after we've done this, all right? Behind that, we're then going to have two blocks, one and two. And then we're going to have a slab. And then where we've got this block here, place a block directly on top of the last layer like that. Do the same on the other side now. So we first get that slab. Two blocks behind that, one and two. Slab on the side, then we get seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we get a slab again on the end of that one. On the inside, we get a lower slab. 
And you might want to change that later, you'll see what I mean in a sec. Then we're going to have two blocks coming out, and then a slab at the back of that one, okay? The only other thing we need to do is grab yourself a stripped spruce wood. This is going to be our, our uh, what are they called, the masts. And this one's going to be in between these two slabs. At the, thru at the front, uh, we're going to leave a two block gap, and then we're going to have one there. So two block gap from this little bit here, okay? Two blocks, and then put that one down there, all right? And if I show you guys what is going on with this thing, Ooh, drop in. Um, it's because the cabin is kind of raised up, you kind of need a way to get there. Um, and if you just got a block, it kind of gets in the way because of where this mast is. So that's the reason we do that. And the reason I say you might want to block it up is because you might want to put in a block there and then have like this side of it blocked up and then you know put in some flooring here or even raise the whole thing up a level and have your bed and stuff like that in there. It's kind of up to you what you want to do with that bit, really. But uh, anyway, guys, that's it for layer number two. And now for layer number three, what we're going to do is place a block directly on top of the last layer. Come forwards with an upside down stair on the front of that one. Then we're going to have a smooth court slab on the upper piece coming out of the side of that one. Two blocks behind this, one and two. Then we're going to have a slab. Then we're going to have 11 blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven like that. Then we're going to have a slab at the back here. And on the inside again, put in your slab. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a block behind that, that lower slab that we placed in on the inside. Then an upside down stair. Where we've got that fence, we're going to whack in a block over the top. Then on the other side right here, what we're going to do is we're going to have a slab on the side. We're going to have uh, two blocks behind that, one and two. Then another slab on the side. Then 11 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then we're going to have a slab on the back. A lower slab here. A block on the back. And then an upside down smooth quartz stair like that. And the only other thing we need to do, guys, is build that up again. So with your mast, just keep it going. And we're going to put in the four mast, which is going to be just here. I know it's surprising, isn't it? It doesn't look that much. But when you have a look at the layers, you go, oh, yeah really is just there but um yeah that's it guys for layer number three and now for layer number four what you guys are going to do is with your smooth quartz block place that on the front just like before then we're going to have an upside down smooth quartz stair going forwards we're now going to need some dark oak slab stair and also plank block okay so we're gonna have a upside down stair right on the side of that smooth quartz two blocks of your dark oak planks behind that then we're going to have another dark oak stair right behind that one. With an oak slab now, we're going to have one on front of that one just there, okay? This is part of the beak part of it. Then we're going to have 14 blocks of your dark oak planks behind this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now we're going to have a slab right on the end with your dark oak. Then we'll switch back to our white blocks of smooth quartz. So you're going to have a block behind this one. Then we're going to have three upside down smooth court stairs. One, two, and three. Then uh, you can place a block there if you want to. Why not? Or we can just do what I normally do, which is do it on the other side. So right here, upside down dark oak stair. We're going to have two blocks behind. One and two. We're going to have another dark oak stair upside down right on the side of that block. With an oak slab on the upper piece right next to that. 14 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. And then a dark oak slab at the back like that. We can, of course, build these up as well. Just to keep that going up like that. But that's it for layer number four. And now for layer number five, what you guys are going to do is right in the front, you're going to have a dark oak plank block directly on top of that smooth quartz stair. Then you're going to have an upside down dark oak stair on the front of that one. Behind it, you're going to have a block of dark oak planks. Then we're going to have a normal dark oak stair either side of that. I'm just going to do it on the other side as well uh, to get that done. Now guys, choose your colored block. Uh, whatever you have, you're going to need a slab, stair, and block of that, okay? So it's usually best to just go onto stairs, search for all of those, have a look at those, grab whatever you want, and it's up to you what you're going to go for. I'm going to go, of course, for my mangrove, because it's the new block, and I've been doing a nice um, 
set of ships lately with all of this kind of in there to tie them all together which I kind of like I don't know why um, but anyway behind that stair we're gonna have a block like that then what we're gonna do is we're gonna be on top of the dark oak uh, stair block and we're gonna have oh, stair sorry not stair block dark oak stair and we're gonna have 15 blocks on this okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and then right at the end we're gonna have a mangrove slab a block over on this side then a stair then we're gonna have three mangrove stairs upside down going across the back so it does you know this one sticks out a fair whack from the uh, main part of the hole really which is down there let's do the same on the other side so right here you get uh, no you don't <laughs> right here you get some blocks 15 blocks in fact 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 then right here we get a slab get a block here normal stair there like that now grab yourself a crimson slab this worked for me uh, because I had the reds I then had the kind of blues and purples so I decided to have that as my kind of color scheme on the back and that meant crimson uh, it just kind of works quite nicely with it and whatever you're gonna have whatever you choose have three slabs just on the back of that section which makes it stick out even more um, you're also going to need a spruce slab, so we're going to whack this in. So where you've got the back part of this here, leave a block, go to the next two and have two spruce slabs like that. Same on the other side, two right there like that. Just realised I haven't got where the other one is, but it's a three block gap. So one, two, three, and go for the next one. So three block gap, two in there. It's amazing what you miss when you're trying to tutorial stuff. Um, from the front part of it, it's just the first two on those blocks there like that, okay? two on the blocks there like that we can also now grab ourselves an acacia fence and uh, this was just to offset some uh, the kind of colors with this give it something different we had an acacia fence piece right in here like that just on top of that oak slab on the front of that one you can have a lower slab right there then we're gonna have an upper slab in the middle part of it like that so go there and there that's what you're gonna end up with something like that we can now also grab this up as well, all the masts, of course. And we get to do a little bit of uh, slab work, I guess. Um, so with our oak slabs, place a slab right here. We're then going to have slabs going across to the side. Just bring it right to there for the time being. We'll do the other side in a bit. Um, or not the other side, this part over here. We'll do that in a bit. Um, so have that going to there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to be two blocks past. Then one comes in. So you get two blocks there. And you might be wondering... Why is there so many holes? This looks weird. And it's because we're going to be filling that over in the next level. But you can see there's three there, two there, a few gaps. And uh, the rest of the ship, it kind of the deck goes up and stuff like that. So we'll get into it. But that's it, guys, for layer number five. And now for layer number six. So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to start on the front. And where we've got this um, mangrove wood there, we're going to place a dark oak plank on top. And then we're going to go over the top so we get three blocks here like that then what we're going to do is we're going to have an acacia fence on the front here and on there like that grab yourself a spruce slab now and we can have a upper spruce slab right in the middle that's actually where our bowsprit's going to start from so it's almost like it's coming inside of this and then hits into the uh mass there okay then what we're going to do is right on top of this one we're going to have a block of your dark oak block of your dark oak like that with your oak slab on top of this fence you can have an uh, oak slab on top of that one and then you can have an upper oak slab in front of that one so up there one on top there like that and then what we're going to do is right on the front we're going to have an upside down um, dark oak stair on that one and that is then going to have an upside down on the front of it as well like that with your oak slabs now we're going to have an oak slab here and here like that so it's just stepping up it like that there anything i don't know is whether we have a slab or not there and we do so grab yourself a dark oak slab and plonk that in there not that you can really tell after you've plonked it in but uh I guess it's all part of the beak bit of it so there we go quite a lot of detail-y block placing in that bit what we're now going to do is we're going to have a normal stair this way 
then another stair going that way. And then we're going to have an upside down here. And then a normal upside down stair there. And we're going to have a total of four of these sets. So you've got one. Then you get another one. Two. Three. And then... Whoops. Four. Okay. So you get one, two, three, four. Like that. Now we're going to have a normal stair here. And another stair going that way. And then we're going to have another normal stair. Then we're going to have a block on the inside, so it now comes to the inside part of it. Now we'll do the same on the other side, so we're going to have a stair there, stair there, four sets of upside down kind of stairs going around here, so one, oops, two, three, like that, then normal stair there, normal stair there, normal stair there, then in on the, uh, just coming in on that side there with our block. Now you're going to need Warped Hyphae, whatever that is. Um, and we're going to place one down here, one down here, one down here, and one down here. These are going to be the detail-y kind of bits. Uh, I just quite like this as like a painted pattern thing. Um, and then we're going to put glass panes in the middle of those ones. You can, by the way, guys, if you want to put um, trapdoors on to make the windows look more interesting, feel free to do that. Um, also grab yourself some Warped Fence. We're going to have Warped Fence on the outside of each of these like that as well okay so what's next well if we come to the uh, front first we're going to just build up this mast this middle one right here we're going to we're going to do quite a few little bits and bobs to be fair uh, we're also going to need a compost let's grab a load of materials tell you what so we've got the uh, spruce wood we've got a composter we've got a oak trapdoor spruce trapdoor and a ladder uh, then we're not going to need all of that yet, are we? I don't think so. No. Well, that will do for the time being. That will get us started. Uh, and actually, there's another thing, which is a oak stair, because I just noticed that as well. So at the front, what we're going to do is we're going to have an upper slab here, upper slab here. And then we're going to have a lower slab. We're actually going to have three of those coming forward. So one, two, and three. So there, one, two, and three. And then we're going to have one in the middle here, but leave that, this one here, okay? And that is where we're going to have our spruce uh, trapdoor here. And we're actually going to have the ladder on it. So we are going to need the ladder. Um, so I had it going down to here. Um, you could have it on any of the other ones as well. It's totally up to you guys what you'd like to do. But there we go. We can close that one off. In the middle, we're going to have a composter on top of that one. And also at the end, we're going to have a composter. And then what I did for this bit is we're going to have some oak trapdoors over the uh, gap and I like to have them where it's a direction where you can just open them like that rather than having them uh, in different directions uh, I just find that that is preferable I guess then at the back what we're going to do is with our oak slabs you can have two on the side of this one like this at the back you're going to have an oak stair right in the middle okay so right in the middle part of it like that then with your oak slabs, you can have them on the upper here, and this is going to go around that stair. And then finally, add an extra one on the back there that will just go to that block, like that. But that's it, guys, for layer number six. And now for layer number seven, what we're going to do, guys, is right on the front here, where we've got this block there, we're going to have an upside down stair with the kind of gap pointing forwards. Then on this block, we're going to have the other bit kind of pointing that way so you get a, a kind of gap in between those two so we've got this one here this one here like that and then we can put a slab in between those now what we're also going to do here is we're just going to increase this up with the uh, spruce slabs just to three high just so we get it to there then with our oak slab what we're going to do is we're going to have one on top of that fence piece that you got there and we're also, well, we'll do the same on the other side first. We're also going to need to grab ourselves an oak stair. And that oak stair is going to be upside down at the front of this. And we're then going to have a dark oak slab right behind it like that. That's what we're going to get there. Then at the back of this, we're going to have three slabs. One, two, and three. So it just goes over to the next part of it. One, two, and three. We can also whack a uh, composter onto that part of it, which will be quite good. So onto that mast, that will then sort that one out. Then if we come around to the back, what we'll do is with a 
Uh, dark oak stair, we're going to place one on top of this one, but have an upside down right next to it. So there we go, get that to there. And then we're going to have three slabs here. Uh, sorry, two slabs. Two slabs here like that, just on, on that side. So you get this nice kind of shape going on there. We're going to have an upside down stair on the back of that. Then over this one, we're going to have an upside down stair going that way. So you get a little gap in there like that. Then what we are going to do is we're going to have a normal stair here like that. Then we'll do an upside down stair right there. Then a block, then an upside down stair, then a block, then an upside down stair. Um, we might as well continue with this bit. Then a normal stair. We get that upside down here. And then an upside down over here as well. Then upside down that way. And then we get two slabs like that. We already did the other side. Cool. I wasn't too, totally sure if we had or not. <laughs> and that sounds weird. Um, with our crimson slab, we're going to go over the top of that. Just to give it a nice little arch like this. Like that there. We're going to grab ourselves a grindstone. And where we've got that little um, stair, we're going to whack a grindstone on as our wheel. So we've got that all sorted as well. But guys, that's it for layer number seven. All right, so for layers number seven to nine, that's right, we're gonna do three layers in one with this one. Um, it's just gonna be on the back, that's why. So first things first, I missed out some slabs. So we're gonna put in two slabs just on the bottom part of that there. Then what we're gonna do is grab yourself your dark oak slab, and we're gonna have two dark oak slabs right here on top of those two like that. Then with our dark oak plank blocks, we're gonna have two blocks right there, a slab right in the middle of that one. Above, uh, the, the, what's it called, these crimson slabs, we're gonna have more crimson slabs, we're gonna have one there, one there, and one there. Uh, it's just to give it a bit more color, kind of a bit more pattern, just at the back. And then what we're gonna do is with our dark oak stair, we're gonna have a dark oak stair here, here, slab in the middle of that, a slab on top, and then what we're gonna do with a spruce trapdoor is have uh, two spruce trapdoors coming out, one and two, have one underneath that one there like that. And with your chain, you can have like two chains, for example. And then we need to grab a lantern. There we go, grab a lantern and whack that in. So you can then have that there. You can, of course, have it lower, you can have it higher. That's just where I ended up having my one. Um, but there we go guys, that is it for layers number 7 to 9 all finished up uh, and looking pretty good. So what we got to do now uh, is, I was just thinking have I forgot anything? No, we haven't forgotten anything, that's fine. Um, what we're going to do now is we'll get onto the masts. Okay and now onto the masts. So the first thing we're going to do guys is we are going to extend the bowsprit, it's nice and easy though. Um, so we're going to have a total of 13, uh, sorry, not 13, 12 slabs. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Now we can just delete the ones we don't need. Like this, just make your way down. I think there we go. So you get 12. Now there is a little bit of a difference with this one. We have got a little, uh, a little square rigged sail on the front. I don't know what you call them. Uh, and that's going to be eight up from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you're on the eighth one, add two slabs to either side like that. Now what we're going to do is if we get onto the uh, forwardmost mast, the, the foremast, uh, we're going to go up with seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's using your stripped spruce wood. Now with your composter, we're going to have two on top of that and then go forwards with two as well. And then we're gonna go up with another seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're gonna have a granite wall on top and then two spruce fence. Then with our spruce trapdoor, we're gonna have that to just block up the end like that. Now what we can also do is with an oak fence from the bowsprit, if we go from here, we can then start going back and up and back and up, and we basically continue this on until we hit into 
the mast. There we go. Like that. And knock these down. There we go. So we got that one sorted for the time being. Now what we'll do is we'll go to the middle mast. Or the main mast. Um, and we're going to go with 10 first. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Add two composters on top. Two coming forwards again. Then we're going to have a total of seven blocks on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then a granite wall. Then two spruce fences like that and with our uh what are they called uh oak fences what we're going to do is we're going to be two blocks down so onto the second one from here and go one two three down two three to connect that up and we'll do the one down there as well in a bit i just uh i have no idea what it is so uh now we'll get on to the backmost mast and we're going to go up with seven one two three four five six seven this time with one composter on top and one co composter coming forwards. And then another seven on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again, granite wall, two spruce fences on top of that. And just with our spruce trapdoors, just fill in those little gaps uh, like you've been doing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put on some of the actual the actual uh, sail kind of mast parts of it. So you're going to need a barrel for this. And the first one is going to be just under. So we're going to do a sideways barrel. It's going to be two blocks there, just on the third one right there. Then we're going to have one block on the side. And then we're going to have three blocks going out. And the other side, we're going to do this where we go out as well. So we get the whole thing. It's going to be angled. That will really help our sails uh, when we actually make them. Then underneath on the front, we're going to be leave a whole block. We're going to have a barrel right here. Block in there. And then we go one, two, three. Block one, two, three, like that. So we just get these three sets of three going on there. For the next one, again, leave a block gap here. Put in your barrel. This time, this is going to be a five. So we'll add another two extra onto it. And then we're going to have another five. Two, three, four, five. So we get a really nice big mast on this one. One, two, three, four, five. Up here, again, leave two and go to the next bit which will just sit underneath this, add one in there, have a three, add one in there, <laughs> have a three, like that. Then if we go on to the backmost one, we're going to again be down by with a two block gap and have a barrel, add one in, we're going to have a three, okay? So we're going to do another three sets of three for this one, like that. And then this one is the kind of like what's called the spanker. Um, so what we're going to do here is with our, um, what are they called? Spruce stairs. We are going to have a spruce stair right on the side here. We're going to have one above that. And then we're going to go down and then down again. Okay, so we get four spruce, sail, uh, spruce stairs. Then we're going to go out at a diagonal just by one, but still up. We're going to have another set of four. So one, two, three, four, like that. There, there we go. And underneath on this one, we're going to be two blocks up, then put in a slab here, add two going forwards. Then we're going to go out and up. We're going to have three slabs, out and up, and we're going to have three slabs as well, like that. Now what we're going to do with our oak fence is we're going to have four oak fence going up from here. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to go in, then back. Okay, so it's a little bit weird, but that's fine. And then we're going to add another three on top. So one, two, three, just at the back from this one. Then we're going to go in and then add two on the top. So you end up with, when you look at it sideways, a three, a four, and a four. But of course, in reality, we've got this whole going back thing going on here. What we're going to do up here now is with our spruce stairs, have an upside down spruce stair on the main mast just behind this mast here. And then have that curling around. We do the same here as well. There, cut it around. Then we're going to have a slab coming out diagonally. Put in an oak fence around this like that. And then from this backmost one, we're going to have a uh, oak fence here, and then we're going to have one going up, 
and then we're going to leave it there as if that was what it was hitting into that one basically that's the idea there and then next what we're going to do if we go under the composter on the backmost mast we're going to go with our oak fence one two three under two okay so that connects in there with the next one it's in the same kind of spot so just under the composters one two three under two three like that to connect those two up but there we go guys so quite a bit of work really to get into there but uh we are at least done with that side now please note with this one that the crow's nest although we have one and i did something weird here but um <laughs> It's amazing, isn't it? Um, you can't get up to it with the ladder if your sail goes out too much, which mine did on mine. Um, but uh, yeah, there is that kind of like problem. You could always put a small crow's nest on the front um, or potentially on the back. Now, the back is pretty clear, as you can see. Uh, it's just because it's slightly too small for the three masts um, because we're so chunky with the blocks. But anyway, guys, what we'll get on to now is putting in the sails. All right, so now for the sails. So first things first, we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys how to do tied up ones. I'll only show you it on um, one of the sails. Uh, we're in fact gonna do it on the big one here. So what you would do is you come forwards and down by one block and just follow the mast for the time being. Um, and then what you wanna do is you wanna have like a little bit of a bunching up of the sail underneath, okay? You might have it like something like that. Simple as that, really. And and you can just do that. There's not really anything else you need to do. You can have like an extra block there. You maybe push that block there. You could take off an extra block on the ends of these. Um, but that's the kind of simplicity of actually doing it tied up. And you can do that across all of them and just try and variate each of them uh, and make them look different. For the back one, when you're doing that tied up, you know, just have these blocks down here and then have a couple in the middle just like that to then tie that one up and that's as simple as that so not nothing much really going on there so what we're going to do for the main sails now um, to actually do them if you're having them out now it, there's a lot of you know help really with this because of the sails going forwards and also so the mass going forwards and also going at an angle that really helps uh, what we can see is like we're basically having the wind push into this and kind of catch it uh, so in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to be forwards by one and have this come around to there. Then we're going to go down and we're going to have a set of two. Oops, there we go. So we have a set of two. And again, just follow what you've already got. I mean, that's the main thing. And um, I know some of you guys definitely struggle with the sails, but I found that this is the only real technique that kind of works. Uh, go down and have another two. Like this. And I believe then we'll go in with one and in with one. Yeah, that looks good. So in with one and in with one for each of these. There we go. So you end up with a very boxy sail, but you kind of have got that. And basically what you want to do is you want to knock out like a block there and then smooth that out. You can also knock back blocks and then smooth it out. Okay, so these are your two kind of options. Uh, just remember you'll need to sometimes move it in a couple different places. And we're just going to go along and we're just going to start doing that. Now, another thing to be aware of is to make it look cool is to knock out three blocks or so in the middle and also do the same underneath as well. And then you can keep on doing your shaping. And then with the corners, you want to pinch it back. So you want to have it where it's being pulled back a little bit. Have an extra bit over here, maybe. And you want to pull these back like this until we get to like a point like that. Okay, and that will help shaping it and then you can go in and you can do a little bit more smoothing of each of these corners and you'll get something like that and you can now see how it's starting to take shape um, and it's it's kind of one of these things is you have to play around with it. Uh, I've done a lot of these and I should, you know, really do want to reiterate that I have done a lot of these. Uh, so that's why I've kind of I've got a good knack for where I need to go with some of these blocks and sometimes I also get it wrong. Um, but that might do for the time being. I do not like that square at all. I'm going to knock out one there. I'd much rather have that kind of like a, a shape. But there we go. That looks good. So if we do... Uh, well, actually, first, if we grab an oak fence, we're going to go in and just whack these in. 
like that. Then we'll get on to the next one, okay? And feel free, guys, if you want, need to pause, make sure you pause. Not a problem. Um, you can even do it where you um, even do it where you you know build the really boxy versions first, then do it all in a go, and just see how you get on. And don't worry about it being perfect or not. It doesn't have to be. Uh, so for this one, we've gone with a one, and then we've gone with a two, and then we're going to go with a two, and then in by one. And that doesn't mean we're not going to be able to get it everywhere. All right, that's fine. I'll show you guys what to do with that. Apparently it goes over that. That's interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Um, and then, uh, where are we? Under, so we're in, with one here. Like that, there we go. So we get a really boxy one, and it's kind of in the way and everything. So we're gonna knock out again three there. Don't worry about underneath here, because we've kind of already got that. Um, and then we can start smoothing. A couple of these blocks, so we push this one back. Have this where it pinches back as well, and goes up to there. Get all these in uh, there. There we go. Something like that. There we go. Right. Like that. Pinch it back again. And get that one down. Nice. Okay, so now it's just this bit here looks a bit weird. So we'll have that maybe going in. That already looks good. So kind of, you know, that one actually, we kind of got helped by the, the shape. And then putting your oak fences behind, like that. Right, we'll do the top one up here. So we're going to go one, two, two, I guess. One, one again. It looks like we're going to do a one, one again. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, and yes, guys, I am making it up as I go along with these things. It's not a problem. Um, <laughs> you know, don't be afraid to play around. And it's not going to be perfect as well. Like I say, it's not going to be perfect. But you're going to have so many sails on this thing that it's not going to matter. Um, you're not going to notice if some of them aren't the best that you've ever done. Oh, now when you get to something like this, don't worry again. Just just keep the fence pieces in there and just ignore your sail for this bit. Uh, because when we start shaping it, we can shape around these kind of things and it's better to have them in there sometimes than anything else. Cool, so we'll get something like that. Again, knock out those three in the middle uh, and down the bottom. We'll knock out three, which allows us to have that nice space. Now we'll start pinching back on these bits. Like that. Maybe even get all the way down to there. Have this one go in even more. And also goes out. Smooth it out a little bit. Down there as well. There we go. Okay. There we go, and then finally there as well, like that, nearly, there we go. This is a bit square, but I'm actually going to leave it, no, am I? Apparently I'm not, apparently I'm not going to leave that, I'm just going to edit it there. There we go, that one will do, again, oak, fence behind. Right, big one, okay, so we're smashing through these, so I don't expect you guys to go at this speed, just so you, just so you know. Feel free to pause, like I said. So for the big one, we're going to go over one again. Always start with a one. It just seems to seems to look right. We're now going to go for a three, I think. Or maybe let's go for a two and then a three. Let's try that out. Let's get this first. Then we'll go in with a one, two, two. Look at that. Two, three, two. Yeah, we'll go over. One, two, three, two, one. Okay, that's what we're going to go with pattern wise. Okay, there we go. Let's build that out. And this is where we're going to be doing quite a bit of tweaking because this one gets right in the way of everything. Um, so you'll, I'll show you guys what I mean once we're done, but there we go. Plunk all your white wall down, including here. Like that, because as soon as you get down to like here, it'll get in the way. So, I mean, for me, I'm just going to leave it because I know I'm going to delete it anyway. But you guys, if you want to get the basic shape, you know, feel free to do that first. 
Uh, some people find that easier. I know that I did whenever I started out with this stuff. Uh, it just seemed to make more sense to me. So I okay, that one's going to be a two underneath there. And then we're going to have a one in there like that. There we go. So yeah, we got a big chunk cutting out of uh, cutting out of this thing, and we can't really go onto the sides. But I'd rather have that and be able to go down. Or you, I mean, you could put in bits, but it's going to look weird because of that slab. So now we need to shape this one. This is where it's quite cramped. Okay. So let's pinch the corners first, and we're going to go out a little bit more. And I'm probably, I think I've gone over the line, um, but that's fine. I mean, if you're building it with sails, it's not going to be in a box, is it? Let's be honest. So there we go. Um, there we go, get that to there, get that to there, and get that to there, there, like that. Let's get a couple more in here, like that. And then what we're going to do is we've got a line there, so we're going to cut out a couple there, just two on the side of that one. And we can do some stuff around here. Chunky it up. Uh, let's cut out five in the middle, we're going to go crazy. Um, <laughs> and then cut out some more here. That's uh, probably too many, two will do. Let's go for that. And let's pinch this other side as well. Pull that one in so we can get that going. All right. There we go. There we go. Go for something. Something like that. Let's go out to there and go down as well. That'll do. And then what we'll do is cut out. Not two there. That's the wrong place. Two underneath it, of course. Right. And now we can then move maybe that one forwards. Cut out maybe another one there uh, to give it a little bit more room. Maybe two there. I need to do something about this. I'm not totally sure what. Maybe that. Maybe that. No, that doesn't look right either. We have that there. Ah, oh, that looks a bit better. And then we can push that back as well. Cool. And like I said, you can hardly even see it really. Um, it's kind of cramped in there. But there we go. That one will do. Again, oak fences, get those done, don't forget about them. Get them on the back. There we go. Now the last little one is going to be up here. So what we'll do is we'll do a one, two, because it's then going to clash anyway. And then maybe a one, no, we can do it one, three, and then a one, I think. Still a one, three, and a one, okay. See how it goes, we can always cut it later. Yeah, because that, that should do fine. That, went, that isn't going to clash. So that's all right with, with me. So let's do that. Get that in here. There we go. And now, because it's right next to it, cut out the middle again. Cut out the bottom again. Um, pinch in those corners first, because we've got such a small sail to work with in, in this case. Let's have that going. Oops, have that going down. Same on the other side. Pinch that in at the corners into there and then down again let's have it going up as well that didn't do that on that side did i no missed that one out there we go get something like that and then we can add in the smoothing kind of stuff around here perhaps we even have that going to there not that you can see it because it's all kind of crammed in so uh yeah that kind of works in our favor i guess so, not the last sale, but uh, second to last sale. For this one, what we're going to do is we're going to have these bits of wool following it. We're then going to follow this line that we made, okay? So, follow the line. When it goes out, you go out. Okay, and we have something like this. With this one, we're going to push it out a little bit. Then we're going to have that down there. And then we can join these together, okay? And you can start off with a really boring looking thing going on, but you want to try and... You know, have something at least. We might have something like that. Okay. Really boring kind of shape, right? Looks terrible. Um, and now what we want to do is we want to start pushing these blocks out a little bit. And some of that will mean pushing things back as well. Okay. So you can also push back like that. That will definitely help. Knock off a corner on there. That sometimes helps as well. A couple in there like that. Get one in there. And I was going to say, if we cut that corner, it might help, it might not. Uh, maybe we're going to have an extra little chunky bit kind of sticking out from here as well. Like that. Maybe there. That looks weird. 
Thought I'd give it a go. That'll do for the time being, I think. I think it's this this harsh corner that I've just whacked in. It looks really strange. There we go. That's that's something like that'll do. That's what my other one went with. I went with a weird little ziggy zaggy thing there. Right, and now for the jib. Okay, last one. So for the jib sale, what we're trying to do is we've got a sale. Oh no, last second to last one. Let's do the front one first. Let's get that done. And I almost forgot about this one. So we're just going to have a one here, then a two. Then a one, all right? It's really basic. It's not even angled. So we're going to have to make that look interesting. Um, so we'll just cut out, you know, a couple in the middle. Maybe a couple, just one at the bottom. Uh, let's start, you know, doing something with this where we have bits on the outside. Let's have this going right down as well, perhaps like this. Yeah, we're going to have an extra block on there. Do something here. There we go. Like, like that. Let's push this back. Let's push that one back. Oop, push that one back. Let's keep playing around with it until you're kind of happy. <laughs> I keep on deleting the wrong block. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad actually. I quite like how I've got it kind of a bit angled. Somehow I've made it have a feel like it's going this way. Uh, where's that one? feels more blobby on that side. Why not? Um, I like this one more, weirdly. Uh, right, so now the jib. So we're going to place in some blocks just down this run that we've got here. Then we're going to join them up. Like that. Then we're going to come forwards. And I'm just going to build a little frame out here like that. Then we're going to come out again. And this time we're going to go back a little bit as well. So we might go back to like there or even down. And then we're going to start pulling it in now, okay? And we pull it in, also try and pull it down. So we have something like that. We might actually have something there. And then goes to there. And then we might also have some blocks up here. And that looks okay. So the idea being that you've got this kind of like, it's you know coming out, being pulled in to a single point over here. Um, and in fact, that looks a bit better, I think. It's just whether that... I don't like that. I think it's this... Um, Pattern-wise, doesn't look right. Just doesn't look right. There's loads of things we could do with that. Like that to soften it out. But there we go, guys. That's the sales. Um, hopefully they aren't too difficult for you guys. Basically, just try it. Just try out the basic pattern, then editing them. Tweak them, tweak them, tweak them, tweak them. So you get to a point where you're like, okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. That looks up. That looks all right. I can deal with that. Um, that's the main thing with these ones. But guys, what we'll do now is we will get onto the shrouds, which are these bits here. All right, now for the shrouds, what you're going to need, guys, is birch fence. So where we've got the frontmost one, we're going to start on the left-hand side, and we're going to go up with four double birch fences. So we're going to one, two, three, three. If you hit a sale, don't worry. Just continue as if you had placed a block there, right? So we've got one, two, three, four. We're now going to join two on the back, and then that's going to be four high as well. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, in again. And then that's going to be four. So one, two, three, and four like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go sideways over to here. And this is going to be four high. So another another set of two, just the front two. So you get one, two, three, four. And then we're going to have a total of three going up from here. One, two, three, just singles, okay? Now I'll connect from there to there. We'll do the same on the other side now. So we get that first set of four. One, two, two, three, and four. And around the back somehow. There we go. Around the back. Two, three, and then four. And this one's hitting into the mass. That's fine. Connect around the back. Two, three, four. Now I'm going to go forwards on this one. And then make that one a four with a double just for the front two. So you got one, two, three, four, two, three, four. And then three singles going up to that mast like that. And for the middle shroud, the first thing we're going to do is add another slab in. So from the back, 
Uh, well, on the frontmost side, we're going to add another slab in. That's the easiest thing to explain. Um, so frontmost side, add another slab in like that. So we're going to have three slabs for this one. Don't know how I missed that. Who knows? Um, what we're going to do is we're going to have three on here, and that's going to be four high. So you got one, two, three, four. Connect three on the back. One, two, three. Add another three on top. One, two, three. Now what you're going to do is this one right here is going to be a total of three high. So you just go one, two, three. And then the next one is as well, two, three, like that. And then behind this, we're going to have another two, one and two. And we're going to make that four high. So you go one, two, three, and then four if you can, like that. And then what's going to come out of this side is we're going to end up having fences around this. All right. So you would have, yeah, one, two, three, four, which will bring up to there. Continue up to around about here. Also have one down here as well. So you're going to have one down there. I'm hoping the other side is going to be a little bit clearer for this. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to bring this single fence up to the top. So that's kind of where your doubles end up finishing. Let's try that on the other side, see where we get to. Um, it's a bit complicated. Just kind of try and make it work again. If it's not perfect on both sides, don't worry about it. No one's going to notice. Uh, so you're going to go uh, up with four first. So we get one, two, three, four, like that. Connect three on the back, one, two, and three. Then connect, uh, have another three on top. On the front most two, what you're going to do is I'm gonna to have to look on this one two three four we're gonna go four high in total so you've got one two three and then four connect two on the back two three and then four well, it looks like this one also hits into it and then we're just gonna make this up to here and double that up I believe that's actually what I did on mine um, and then we're gonna have singles going to the top like that but like I say don't worry about it getting it perfect it is like ropes being tied up to from the side to the top now the backmost one which is going to be the easiest one for this side and um i hope actually even easier on the other side to be fair we're going to have four going up one two three four connect on the back and what we're going to do is we're going to come forwards with one as well on the back like that we're going to make this frontmost one and this one four high so you go you've already got your one two three four four there we go connect on the back make this three high two three then what we're going to do is on the on this one right here add one move over and add two on top of that like that so you just get this kind of like single connection there you can if you want to thicken it up have an extra one on there it's totally up to you guys then we're going to go one two three with our singles to get it up to there now the other side we do our best okay so first is one two three and four and that's as far as we can go <laughs> and that's it um but what we can do at least on the other side is what we've got on this side just mirror it over on this side so you just kind of have this go up to there if we go out to there we have that one out to there and then the rest of it we leave don't worry about doing it in here because you can technically have it you know going into here and then you pretend to have them going into there I find that ends up looking more confusing because you end up with just random fences in your build. Um, but there we go, and that is that. So anyway guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this build. If you have, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you on the next one.